Hey y'all, it's Taste Pink. Welcome back to the channel. So I am so excited. Number one, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but you definitely need to. I purchased tickets to the Millennium concert, the Millennium Tour concert. And um, I don't know if y'all know this, but I was a huge B2K fan growing up. I had all the Word Up magazines. I was in love with J Boog at first, but then I like started falling in love with Amarion. And like, that was just my childhood. So if anyone is going to the Millennium Tour concert, let me know. I'll be at the one that's in Madison Square Garden at the Hulu Theater. So sis, um, let me know in the comments below if you're fans. But this video is going to be where I debut this style and this is the Valentino Magna. I got so many questions so I was like, I finally need to release it and you know, really give the girls the full details on this style because it is honestly my favorite. This is the auntie to the original signature Valentino unit that is the very first unit that I really launched with the collection that really defined who I was and it kind of like embodied my own personal taste. So the reason why this one is called Auntie is because it has so much texture, it has a lot of volume and it's the best cap construction that I currently offer. So this unit has three different textures within it all the same color but it has three different curl patterns and i love the definition that each provide and it's so seamlessly done that you can't really tell unless you're up close but that's how well i wanted it to blend it has a very natural look a very natural texture and i love that this unit is constructed on a braided wig cap because when i made this i was like i want this to last long and i want this to be something with the girls feel comfortable investing in and unlike the original Valentino unit which I do have a full tutorial on how I created that unit I have made some adjustments in that the Valentino Magna the auntie of the Valentino wig will have an elastic band so it's gonna have a standard size as far as the elastic band and I'm gonna show you guys in today's video how you can go about like customizing it making it your own we're gonna have a little tutorial and a key key to give you guys perspective so that you know if you do indeed want to purchase a unit from my website trustitrust.com you definitely have that as an option but this unit is everything and I've had this for so long I wore this at Afropunk and got so many compliments like this is the look and a lot of people thought it was my hair okay so that just lets me know that I did the damn thing. And I wanted to take my time before I actually released it and debuted it. So for the month of January, I'm going to discount the price. So, you know, we're gonna bring the prices down for the entire month of January because it's also gonna be a pre-order. So if you put your orders in now, you will receive your unit sometime in February. I have all the details listed on the website. Again, my website is trustitrust.com. So in today's video, I definitely wanted to show you guys just how I go about creating units, why I even wear them. It's going to be very low key. I have a ton of tutorials that I will be referencing. So if you want more in depth, then definitely look at that on how to construct your unit. But I'm going to be talking more about like maintenance, how to further customize your unit once you get it, the upkeep. Because again, I've had this for a very long time. I made this in March of last year and I'm still wearing it. And also this video is super special because I'm going to be having a giveaway. Now I basically jam packed as much as I could into a box. So this is going to be the crochet slash wig starter kit. So there's so much in here. There's box dye, there's a wig stand, there's um, a one pack solution for a quick weave that I've actually made here on my channel. There's braiding hair, crochet hair, There's wigs in here i really want you guys to get into this and i'll have all of the details in the video and the description box so make sure you check it out and thank you so much for your support i appreciate you guys like you don't even know so be sure to subscribe share this with a friend tell your friend put them up on game let them get a bomb wig to slay because now is like the perfect time to wear a crochet wig honestly and also if you love this look be sure to give it a thumbs up and kick you with me in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. So when you're creating your crochet wig, what 
is the purpose do you want this for long term where are you just trying to do something quick you know are you really into using the like dollar 99 crochet wig caps that are pretty flimsy that don't allow you to kind of store and maintain your wigs for an extended period of time or are you interested in stepping up your game and using the more current crochet wig caps that have three combs i highly recommend them if you don't like the combs you can always use a seam ripper to remove them so i'm going to be creating this crochet wig on a canvas blockhead and I create all of my units on a canvas blockhead and I'm going to be using the more current crochet wig cap. Now I have a ton of hair in my inventory that's something that I have to do to keep on hand because that is a part of my business so the biggest thing for me is I reserve like hair that has not been open always for clients or customers and then whatever is remaining that's my personal inventory and so that's what I'm doing today I have a ton of like leftover hair and it's typically I like to store them like by color so I feel like a good starting point for most crochet wigs is about four packs of hair. Now I use a latch hook. There is a latch hook set that I highly recommend you all purchase if you're getting serious about this or you really like to make quality units. And so with my latch hook set, I start, you know, splitting the hair. Now, how often, I mean, how often do you see yourself separating the hair? Because separating the hair will cause more frizz. And I typically create units that have what I like to call friendly frizz. And that's something that's very characteristic of my own natural hair texture, so it does not scare me. And it gives a more realistic look. I recommend separating pieces of hair based on the tightness of the curl anywhere from two to four times. If the curl is a little bit more loose, you have the ability to separate it more. If it's tighter, it's gonna create even more unruly frizz and I kinda advise against that. Now when you're spacing your knots, how do you space your knots? You space them based on density. So how full do you want, to, want this unit to be? Do you want it to be super full? Do you have enough hair so you don't have to separate each individual curl a lot? Think about it. This is something that you can customize and it can suit your own needs. Now, one of the biggest rules that I tell you guys, you're gonna be spacing the knots according to the density. It could be one to two finger widths apart, even two to three, but it's also about the space between each row. So how are you gonna space it? Because in the back, when you're creating your crochet wig, it's super important not to overcrowd it because you will run out of hair. It's more important to crowd the hair into the crown and the front because you want as much coverage in those areas. I have a lot of customers who share their concerns about the fact that they don't you know want to wear any leave out they don't have any leave out and so I'm very conscious about that and I make an effort to keep the fullness at the crown and the front Think about that as you're creating your units. And the good thing about the crochet wig cap is that it has a guide for the left and right sides and the front and back. So the left and right are pretty symmetrical. So how you crochet on the right side should be the equivalent of how you are crocheting on the left side.
now as you move towards your crown remember you can begin to space your knots about one finger width apart and as you are going through the crochet process don't be afraid to take your wig off try it on and see how it's flowing see the fullness see where you may need to increase it because for each head size it's going to be a little bit different but you want to make sure that you know overall you have enough coverage and fullness And when you're customizing your unit because all of my units have a standard kind of frame the face effect but you may have to go in and you know kind of trim a few pieces and I really want you guys to think about your own personal face shape and for me I think about a standard face shape of the customer so I typically think of like a round face and I'm just trying to frame the circle so frame the face as best as possible and then you also want to look at the entirety of your unit on the canvas blockhead and how it looks is it giving you like a kind of circular shape as with the entire volume of the unit and if not that's when you go and you trim certain pieces putting it on as a breeze Keeping up with it is perfect. Put it on, you know, a standard wig stand or you can store it on a door knob. You can store it on the edge of the door. You can store it in the bags. We offer hair nets and we put the units in kind of like a Ziploc bag so you can store it there. And that's the biggest thing when you are creating your units or you're purchasing them. You want them to last as long as possible. So I hope this was detailed enough. This was just a little crochet wig kiki. And these are some of the things that I learned and I appreciate you guys support thus far and I hope that you will visit the website and get your entire life and catch this pre-sale or the pre-order all the way for the month of January for the discounted price and uh, I'll see you in the next one.